Richard Brayshaw, FRPS. That sounds good. Uh, now we've got some of your panel behind you. What was the inspiration for it? Well, actually, it, it came from different sources because I've always been interested in how space and our physical environment affects us. Um, but I've also been interested in bits of psychology and philosophy. Um, and for quite a long time, actually, my brain was puzzling over how do you combine these things and also make something which is visually quite interesting because it's all real having a concept, but if you're not careful, you get a sort of didactic, boring set of images. Um, and so I don't quite know how it happened, but I suddenly realised that there was a way of using the, the Freudian uncanny with the idea of space um, in order to try and create a feeling by looking at images. The goal was with each picture was to try and have people experience it so you'd see them. The ideal is you see them in a gallery moving towards the image and then moving back again <laughs> and then forward again because they're not quite sure where they want to be. Um, and so that was the perfect if somebody does that, I'm happy because that's the perfect response to the picture really is, oh, do I want to go in or do I want to stay out? Well, of course, the one image, the steps going down to the water, caused a lot of interest because people weren't quite sure what they were looking at. Yes. Was that your intention? Yes, yes. And in fact, I've, I've had people think it's silk coming down from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> so they think they're looking up at something um, as opposed to looking down. And that... I. I love that because the more my work means people's imaginations get going, the better, I think, because then they're more engaged. Is that what you mean by contemporary photography, making people think about an issue? I think so, yes, yes. Um, um, and I, I find it usually needs more than one image. I struggle to create one image which says a lot about a particular subject. Well, you've produced an extraordinary panel, which was a real talking point. Um, how would you encourage others to go along the path of contemporary photography? I think it starts with what you're interested in. Um, I think it's um, you pick a subject or an area that you're interested in um, and then try and explore it and then photograph it. And I think because you're interested, you will have something to say about it. And I think that point of view is quite important. The ideal for me is actually to have an idea it doesn't have to be f completely formalised. Um, write yourself some sort of a brief because then you can shoot to that brief, which is why I think in contemporary the words are quite important. Um, what does it mean to you to be a fellow of the Royal Photographic Society? I think it's a great honour. Um, I, I was, to be honest, amazed when I got the fellowship. Um, I think it's, it's, it's great that people whose work you respect actually respect yours and, and I think it helps me encourage because people can see the type of I work I do is still something that the Royal Photographic Society is interested in because I still think to some degree I say Royal Photographic Society and people have a fairly old-fashioned idea as to what the RPS is about um, and hopefully contemporary photography is one of the ways in which we can change that to some degree. Now, of course, you're a panel member. You're on the contemporary panel <laughs> assessing other people's work. Uh, what's that like? I, I love it. I think it's a real privilege. Um, and it's also very stimulating because you see such a variety of work and such fantastic ideas. One of the things I find is I need to be able to see how the words and the images relate to each other. Um, you can have a great set of words, but the images don't appear to be connected. Um, or you can have a great set of images and the words don't seem to bear any relation to them. Um, and I think that coherence between the two is quite important. From what you say, you seem to have got an awful lot out of the Royal Photographic Society. Yes, I have. The thing that I think also the distinctions have given me is targets and deadlines. Um, because when I set my own projects, I'm very kind to myself. I say, oh, well, another month won't matter or I'll be fine, I'll just give a... When you've, when you've submitted your form to Andy um, and you've now got the date, um, it does tend to focus the mind, which I find very helpful because that means I actually get things done. Richard Brayshaw, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you.